Thank you very much uh, to, for coming out this evening to our first uh, of our speaker series. Um, my name is Mike Moritz. I'm one of the executive for the City of Canning. I've only been with Canning for about four or five months and it's a great pleasure to, to be here and be part of this journey we're starting off. Um, I won't take any more of the floor. I'd like to introduce you to the Mayor, Councillor Joe Deladonna, um, to welcome you all tonight. First of all, good evening everyone and uh, thank you for coming along this evening. I know that uh, it's a Thursday night, a shopping night, but it's great to see so many people here tonight. And look how much money you've saved. <laughs> uh, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge uh, my fellow councillors, uh, Councillor Lindsay Elliott, Councillor um, Stephen Boylan, Councillor um, Graham Berry, uh, Councillor Michelle Wheaton, uh, is any, is any other council apart from those ones I just mentioned? No, okay. Um, also, I'd like to acknowledge uh, our uh, Chief Executive Officer, Mark Deckham, which um, he's not here currently, but I expected that he'd be here, but uh, today he had a little bit of um, problem, so he's not here, so he's, uh, he's sending his apologies. Uh, Executive uh, Corporate Service, Andrew Sharp. Executive City Future, Dr. Mike Moritz, over here. Uh, Executive Engineering and Technical Services, Charles Sullivan. Executive Client and Customer Service, Fiona Armstrong. Executive Property Asset and Economic Development, Kevin Jeffries. I acknowledge the uh, traditional owners of the land on which uh, we meet uh, the uh, Wujak people. Here's me of the City of Canning. And on behalf of my fellow councillors, uh, it is my pleasure to be here tonight to introduce uh, the uh, first speaker in our uh, speaker session 2011. Jim Dyes from Seattle, United States of America. The, uh, thank you Benny, I don't have to uh, strain my uh, <laughs> laryngitis there. Uh, the city of Canning is uh, poised on the uh, threshold of an exciting new era. As a council, uh, we stand proud of our record of the provision of quality service and a wide range of excellent uh, facilities. However, we have now embarked on a new journey, one that involves working more closely with our community at all levels. We are broadening the lines of communication with our uh, residents and ratepayers, seeking your valued opinions on what you want for your neighbourhood. We are developing a community plan that will provide us with a clear direction for achieving our aspiration for the City of Canning well into the future. We cannot do this without your input. The speaker series is just the beginning. Over the next six months, we will bring you speakers on environmental urban planning, the indigenous aspect of place, and the uh, thoughts and aspiration of our youth. Through this series, you will, not, you will gain not only an understanding of the challenges ahead, but also of the ways in which each of you can make a difference. Tonight's, speakers, tonight's speaker, Jim Dyer, has spent the past 30 years finding ways in which people can become more involved with their communities and with decisions that affect their lives. In 1988, Jim was appointed to the direct uh, Seattle's uh, new office on neighborhoods. By the end of uh, his 14-year tenure, the uh, four-person office had grown into the Department of Neighborhoods with 100 staff. The department's mission is to decentralize and coordinate the city services, strengthen communities and their organizations, and work in partnership with those organizations to preserve and enhance the neighborhood. In support, it supports around 400 community self-help um, projects annually through a 4.5 million neighborhood matching fund that has been recognized as one of the most in innovative local government programs in the United States. Currently, Jim spends most of his time at the University of um, Courses in uh, Architecture and Social Work. 
and supports community initiative with faculty and students across all disciplines. This is only a glimpse of um, great work that Jimmy has been doing, and I know you will gain much from listening to him tonight. It is now my pleasure to welcome Jim to our city and thank him for sharing his insights into community engagement with us. Thank you, Jim. I present to you.